long story short the difference between gasoline and propane i gotta say is pretty minor unless you GeneratorPowerSource.com here with a quick video. We've had a lot of emails and a lot of YouTube comments asking us what is the difference between running on propane versus running on gasoline when you have a dual fuel uh, generator. So I want to show you that today we have right now the propane hooked up to the Westinghouse 4500 dual fuel. And what I'm going to do is apply 20 amps to both of the 20 amp receptacles on the front. So I'm pulling the max. And what you're going to hear when we're engaged on propane it runs everything up until the last five amps that I engage which maxes it out and you could just hear that the you'll hear that I hope it comes out on camera but you'll hear everything kind of just bogged down because it's not putting in enough power out I'll show you the amp reading so that you know we are in fact pulling that full 20 amps per receptacle I have to do it that way because otherwise we just have the 20 amp receptacle or sorry the 30 amp receptacle which would be going into the travel trailer which would not max out the system so I just want to show you guys this because I've had a ton of questions and I want to show you what it sounds like so let's go ahead and fire the Westinghouse up as you can see we are right now running on propane so I'll turn the propane on and we'll fire up the generator we jump, jump up to almost 20 amps I don't know how this will come out on camera come over here and let's listen to the listen to the hair dryer it's it's perfect it's smooth what you would hear inside the house so now what I'm going to do is engage the other receptacle, which is going to be a heat gun. So this heat gun and this heat lamp, which is right on behind me, this floodlight, that total draws 20 amps as well. So we are inevitable. We are basically putting 40 amps onto the system, which is maxing it out. So here we go. So the toaster is already on. You can see that we're drawing uh, nine amps. I'll kick that up right now. There's the, the 20 amps and here comes the final 10 amps. This will go to 40 amps. Hear that system? And listen to the hair dryer. Hopefully you can hear this. The hair dryer just sounds completely different. So we're maxing that system out and you can see that the amp draw drops. If I turn this off, it's on a different circuit and put on the hair dryer. Let's watch the amps. Right now, three, two, one. You'll see that amp drop. So the power drops. So that's what I wanted to show you guys because a lot of people were asking, let me turn this off. A lot of people were asking what, what kind of, uh, what, what do you experience basically when you're running on propane versus, versus gasoline? So now we're going to repeat the exact same test with uh, the running on gasoline. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I actually just ran this twice and overloaded the system because I was running over 20 amps on some of these. So I'm going to back it down a little bit. But what I'm wanting you guys to hear is the difference in how the motor sounds and the difference in how the amperage drops and stays there and never comes back up. So that's the big difference between propane and gas. So let's go ahead and fire this up. Now uh, we're running out of gas. I think. So right now we got the heat lamps on. We got the toaster on. We're pulling 10 amps on the lamps right now. Now we'll go ahead and engage the, uh, the hair dryer. So now we're up to 16 amps, and we're getting ready to engage the last piece right here. We didn't get that, that or sorry, the amperage drop, which we experienced on propane, and then it just stayed there. Long story short, the difference between gasoline and propane, I got to say, is pretty minor. Unless you're absolutely maxing out the generator, you're not going to notice uh, a difference. But I wanted to show you the difference of when you do start maxing that out in terms of performance. You're not maxing out the system in terms of, let me shut this off. You're not... You're not maxing out the generator in 
terms of specifications, but what you're doing is putting a load on it that the propane is not generating that power. That's why you're seeing that amperage drop. I know this might be over a lot of people's heads, but I'm trying to make this as simple as possible because so many people have asked it. But let me just cut to the chase and say, the difference between running on gasoline and propane is very minor unless you plan to 100% max out your generator on a regular basis. And all you're gonna see is that amperage drop, which is not good for your appliances because you take something like a hair dryer, my wife's hair dryer that she told me if I blew up she was going to kill me, but you start running it at a different at a different voltage or a different amperage, it's a, it can it can mess with those uh, electronics. So, long story short, the difference is very minor unless you plan to max out. Otherwise, running on propane or gasoline is roughly the same. I hope this answers your questions. If you have more specifics, please drop us a comment. We are happy to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us to keep going. We'll be back next time for more video reviews. Yeah.